Are you a wannabe? Do you find yourself periodically preoccupied with thoughts of others whose gifts make you feel insecure about your own? If you ever have trouble being happy for someone else and what the Lord's doing in their life, it might be because you're threatened by the anointing that God's placed on their life. The only way to capture and slay the wannabe in your own life is to walk humbly before God. You'll know if you're doing this because you'll want to sincerely encourage those around you instead of tearing them down. Paul teaches in the second chapter of Philippians to not be jealous or proud, but humble, considering others more important than yourself. He goes on to say that we need to follow the example of Jesus in being sacrificial and having the heart of a servant. For Jesus did not contest the authority of his Father, but submitted to it, and even went further in glorifying him by dying on the cross for the sin of all. It was only after the Son of God lowered himself as a servant to man that his Father in heaven gave him all authority in heaven and earth. You can't expect the respect of others if you haven't paid the price of carrying your own cross humbly for the cause of Christ. Only then will others see the true Jesus in you until that day when everyone will bow to the marvelous name of Jesus.